Welcome to the uh, Me Getting Cursed Out story. We'll do it next week. Yeah. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Wow, man. For uh, for coming in last second all at once, we pulled something together. That was a lot of fun. That was something. That was great. Thank you guys so much for having us. Every time you let us show up on your show, it makes me feel like I've done something good with my life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and your man. daughter's asleep in the next room. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, what are we calling this episode? Uh, bigger, please. Uh, bigger. Uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, no, Chekhov's pickle jar. I feel like it's, <laughs> Chekhov's uh, pickle jar is pretty good. Liquid black gold. Li- liquid black gold. That's a good one. Uh, Only one person on set has referred to Andrew that way, so it makes sense. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, we didn't get the chance to t- to break down the Dennis Rodman meltdown. I was convinced that was all we were going to talk about because Tensor Guy, Tensor Guy made the suggestion that he thinks that his whole weird freakout was the fact that he wanted to say things that he couldn't say because he's in Pyongyang and wants to be able to go home. Like if you watch it as him as a guy being scared in a in a fascist totalitarian state trying to say things. It reads way different. Um, I don't think point. that's the case at all. You, you I, think he's... No, I mean, he's gone back like three times. You know, uh, I, I think there's a lot of Dennis Rodman that likes two things. Did he just now discover North Korea is kind of a screwed up place? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. People, I don't know. This, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He finally made him read the Wikipedia on Kim Il-jong. You know, he's like, huh. Chimera says cool. the eyes in the guy the eyes of the guys in the back say it all. So I don't know. Maybe oh, some yes. no, no, no. Those guys are all universally like, oh my God, I should never talk to Dennis yes. Rodman again. Like, <laughs> is it literally the worst decision I've ever made. I just need to shut up and get home. Uh, all I'll say is this. Uh, there was I forget which book it was that wrote about uh, when they were taken on a state sanctioned tour of of Pyongyang, and he noticed that there were people, they would go to a subway, right? And the subway cars were just immaculately designed, had chandeliers and everything. And uh, they would, people would, uh, it was a busy subway station, they'd all get on. uh, And then they got led around a corner that I guess they weren't supposed to, and saw the same group of people going to the next subway station so they could be the people that got on the subway at the next subway station. They were all extra, they were basically extras that were that were there for the visitors to prove that Pyongyang was this uh, bustling metropolis. That's... Dennis Rodman strikes me as the person who would not notice that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you're right, but that's it's so unreal. Uh, okay, uh, I guess I guess what uh, we'll we'll call it bigger, please. Or do, uh, do we want to drop you guys off, Joe Biagio? Do you guys have to run? I mean, if you're kicking us off, we'll go. Yeah, I mean, from here on out, we just, we just, I mean, we're just gonna uh, maybe do some after show. Uh, we just got to do like the title and the uh, in the the opening and all that stuff. You're welcome to hang, but I know you guys uh, probably have real stuff to do. We're we're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> we're old. Enjoy, you know. enjoy your sleep. How how old? We've is got Hallie? nothing here, guys. <laughs> I know. That's why. <laughs> uh, Hallie is gonna be 16 months next week. God, oh, Hallie, and yeah, Hallie's just a little bit older quick. than Hallie's oh, funny story. Fine. When we went to pitch A and E, Joke was pregnant with Hallie. Yes. I mean, like, like, awesome! <laughs> Holy cow! So yeah, ha- I was about a month out from delivering, so I was ready. To, uh, yeah, I was big. We have to show, and she gives birth. Uh, we managed them both well. <laughs> what's the uh what's the is it four second films uh films magician oh the magic yeah thing. yeah yeah here we go this uh <laughs> it just makes me think of this uh i i want to believe and don't take this away from me i want to believe that this is how the uh the pitch meeting went for uh for andrew main's show uh, 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 uh oh dang it pause pause yeah there we go computer go there we go why it looks like you're pregnant. Yes, eight months. Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. You guys had cameras in there? <laughs> How did you know? 
Funny you should point that funny. out. I was asked by nobody I will name to uh, make a certain pregnant person levitate in the middle of the meeting. <laughs> I was what? like, I, I, I did. I'm not, he's not kidding. I was like, come on, that'll be awesome. We've all seen a magician levitate a woman. She's eight and a half months pregnant. You get her up in the air, we sell the show, dude. And he would not go there. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I know how. I just don't think this is ethical. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention a uh, uh, liability concern. Uh, okay, here uh, I'll do the um, the intro stuff, and then we'll we'll wrap up the recording. Um, <clears throat> uh, what number of episode is this? One two 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 eleven something. Do you know, Justin? Oh hell no. Two twelve. Okay, I'm just there's a long lag with the chat now. Two hundred and twelve. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> one three five eight four. Here we go. This is NSFW episode 200 and tell to stretch a first third. <clears throat> Double complete rainbow. This is NSFW episode 212 recorded on January 7th, 2013. Oh, it's 2014. <laughs> Double complete rainbow. This is NSFW episode 212 recorded on January 7th, 2014. Bigger, please. Oh, I shouldn't give away the inflection. No, yeah, that it was, should be bigger. Yeah, so that's like offensive. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> this is NSFW episode two hundred twelve, recorded on January seventh, twenty fourteen. Bigger, please. Uh, let me get your face on there. I don't think I have a one shot for you. Uh, I'll have to hang out here like that. It on this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by not only Andrew Maine, but also his production team, the executive producers behind the show, Don't Trust Andrew Maine, Mary Jarris, Joke, and Biagio. We talk about the show. We talk about black gold. We talk about reality show pitches that will make your head spin. It's all coming up on this edition of the NSFW Show. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to do, you want to read some ads? Yeah, let me read these ads. I'm gonna read the hell out of these ads. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, somebody, uh, somebody uh, gave me a hell of a video. If you feel like uh, you have a, a video breakdown, it's uh, uh, we got we got a well, actually, there's two. We got a um, a Robert Benfer one it was pretty good, and then we got a uh, Wang Chung's Let's Go. Uh, you want to know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to punt. You gonna bow out? Uh, yeah, after this, I gotta. I I, I'm flying. Hey, hey, Brian, I'm gonna sing you an old familiar. Uh, I have to get up at four in the morning to get on a flight. What? I have to get up at four in the morning to go back to sleep at four fifteen. You're real. You know this is why you got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's on Valtrex, by the way. Yeah, can I can I tell you some legit science? I got prescribed Valtrex because uh, me I got, too. I, what a coincidence! <laughs> <laughs> I got. Um, I was so embarrassed to tell people about this. <laughs> I'm proud. Uh, no, I got the uh, I got the chicken pox, the shingles, the chicken pox revisited, uh, and so they give me like triple doses of the herpy meds. So that's and what's funny is like Bonnie very loudly like. Uh, goes to pick up my med my medicine and she's like my husband has shingles so i just need <laughs> that bell track his weenus it's, <laughs> you know the chicken flocks virus all right let me set you up justin go for it all right here we go this episode of nsfw is brought to you by ting.com ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense save money with ting pay for only what you use Ting doesn't require a contract and offers unlimited devices on one shared plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. In Audible. <laughs> <laughs> Next sponsor. <laughs> Next sponsor. It actually is pretty short. And audible.com to download a free audiobook of your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. And Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. 
For a free two-week trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code NSFW1. Right on. Well, I guess if we're not doing an after show, I guess we got to shut it all down here. I'm going to stop the recording of this. Uh, but I'll tell you what, uh, folks, I'm doing like a crap ton of, of internet in, this week. I did you know, the, a guest host on the morning stream on Monday, did the morning stream today. I'm doing Tom's daily tech news show, if we're allowed to say that on Twin. Uh, and uh, yeah, so if you want me, there's plenty of me there to download. Oh. Real quick though, what, what did you do that made the woman scream at you? Okay. Yeah, you sucked. Come on. Like, way to joke. go. So here's the deal. Like, when this show first began, there was a story that we teased <laughs> for like nine weeks. And it was teased because it was a terrible story. <laughs> like, so we just said, we had this, this very compelling picture that we just showed it each week and said, we're going to get to this. And it was kind of like our, like, like, uh, like Jimmy Kimmel, like, you know, uh, but Matt Damon has been bumped, we apologize, uh, yeah. kind of thing. So uh, somebody in the chat room said Frodo, Bag Frodo Baggins was, the, was the, the story that we teased forever and said, oh, I bet you this jury is getting cursed out thing is going to be the, all right, so yeah. So this was the picture that we showed like every week uh, was a girl showing <laughs> her breast with Frodo Baggins signed on it, which is a picture that I took uh, the day before we did the first episode of, uh, of NSFW show uh, and uh, it was a terrible really boring story and this story that I will eventually tell is terrible and boring but until then we're going to keep teasing it as the uh, the time I got cursed out I, uh, Good. I hope Glad. nobody saw the content that was surrounding that photo <laughs> <laughs> There's some serious. I typed to find it. I typed in NSFW Frodo Baggins and listen. There is a moment, and you guys can all go back and watch this episode when it comes out, <laughs> where Andrew. Everybody's talking about Andrew, uh, how handsome Andrew looks in those promo photos, and somebody. And and this is a lively chat room. Like this chat room moves very fast. There's a point in which. Right down there, and I, for, I forget who said it, but somebody can take credit for it. And it just hung there. Nobody typed anything. It just hung on the bottom line. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, it took me everything to just not either yell that phrase or break down laughing while everybody else was talking. It was maybe the funniest thing. So you can watch me just, like, slowly dissolve into laughter if you go back and watch this uh hang on i got something for you you think you, you, you got a little got a Except little the song you're gonna play the song uh here we go hold on uh, uh, uh. i'm so fresh you can suck my nuts i'm so fresh you can suck my nuts sweat i'm so fresh you can suck my nuts I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. All right, it keeps on going. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna shut down. Uh, we're gonna shut down the stream. Thank you so much to for all you guys for hanging out with us. Sorry we ran a little bit late. Uh, well, man, that was a lot of fun though. And let, let me just say this, and and Joe Biagio, Mary, and Andrew will tell you that uh, it does them great good. A, not only of course watching the show, which you absolutely need to do. That's first and foremost, but also the social media clamor of it when it is airing. And uh, immediately afterward on Facebook and Twitter, the more we all talk about it, the better the show does. And the, 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 the health of the Diamond Club on television continues to grow. Indeed. If you use at AETV when you do it to say something nice, whatever, they see it. They count those. Somebody will notice. <laughs> Okay.
everybody, stand by. I will take the lower third off and...